Building the Future, Women Engineers Transforming Infrastructure and Technology. I'm joined today with Priyanka, Tanvi, Forum, Sitara and Lakshmi. Welcome you all. Thank I'm looking you. forward to this exciting conversation with you. My first question to all you women in this field, what is it that inspired you to take up your career in a field uh, like this? And how has your journey shaped your perspective on engineering? Uh, one word answer for that would be my father, because right. he's an engineer. I saw him uh, while I grew up around those books, those compasses and everything. I took to it naturally. I would open up the computers. That charted my course into engineering and here we are building things. With me, it was um, like to create history. Okay. Like I used to look at all these monuments like uh, Taj Mahal and pyramids, be a part of that kind of a project, that kind of, to build something. I was always fascinated by flight and by things that go to space, by astronauts. My father is an instrumentation engineer, so he would come back home, speak about some things, so that really fascinated me. And I would keep asking more questions regarding how these mobiles work. We are sitting and speaking here and people sitting miles away are able to hear it in a span of seconds. My family is not in the engineering department, but my friend is after IT complete L&D, he joined in So, we always heard that how big an engine and transmission hydraulic system is working on it. He was also watching a photo. So, I also wanted to know that the engine is so big, what kind of machine is working on it and what kind of type of machine is working on it. So, I was just thinking about L&D. Where did you feel? Uh, Forum, my question is for you. See, green technology today is transforming businesses. What are some of the projects that you're working on and how do you see them shaping the future of the industry? Like you said, it's, it's a very new technology yeah. and it's exciting. Like in any new industry, the innovation uh, just doesn't lie in the technology itself, but also in uh, developing the processes, the uh, supply chain for it or developing the market for it. And uh, that is where we play a role. We are uh, manufacturing electrolyzers, which are core uh, to the hydrogen uh, economy. Uh, being able to make, make it in India, yeah. indigenize it and make it in India is what is where the innovation lies. And this is how we will be able to scale this technology and ensure a larger scale deployment. Uh, Priyanka, um, your field is mainly male dominated, yes. right? So what are some of the challenges you are facing and uh, how have you overcome uh, you know, in, in the years such challenges? Mm, I mean, I was just thinking that how can a girl do a job? There is so big a machine, there is so heavy machinery. Yeah. And I mean, we have to do the tools with the tools, and the weight of the tools was also very high. Then we have a site in charge. वो एक दिन हम सब लड़कियों को बुलाए फिर बोले कि यहाँ पे तुमको कोई काम सिखाएगा नहीं तुमको छीन के लेना पड़ेगा मैम अभी मतलब एक मशीन जब मतलब ब्रेकडाउन होता है तो उसका ऑल कोई भी मतलब किसी का सपोर्ट का जरूरत नहीं होता है पहले तो लड़कों के साथ हम लोगों को काम करना पड़ता था किसी भी चीज में लड़कियों का मतलब लड़कों का सपोर्ट का जरूरत है दैट्स अमेजिंग तन्वी टेल अस बात सम ऑफ द एक्साइटिंग प्रोजेक्ट्स दैट यू हैव बीन वर्किंग ऑन सो आई वर्क विद द प्रेसिशन इंजीनियरिंग सिस्टम्स बिजनेस एट एलएनटी and uh, uh, we look at uh, what are the latest you know technological trends that are out there yeah. uh, currently both in the manufacturing field and the technology field uh, everything is about artificial intelligence it's all about unmanned systems uh, we were talking about how uh, more and more uh, platforms and products can be automated and yeah. made uh, error free and human free you know yeah. um, yes technology and engineering prowess but yeah. it also takes a lot of uh, you know, human mind to design all of this and to actually be able to, uh, you know, uh, curate the uh, the experience for the end user of yeah. this of these preci precision engineering system products. So that's something that's very exciting to work on. Uh, Lakshmi, uh, the hydrocarbon sector is evolving very very rapidly, and especially with a lot of sustainability efforts. What are some of the projects that you're working on currently with this? Yeah. So as you rightly said, the, wherever we see from the time we get up till before we sleep, yeah. we need hydrocarbons in our life. Yes. Projects we work on and the products we deliver, we ensure that it is safer to the environment. Uh, we build basically structures. I work for the offshore business of hydrocarbon engineering. So we have some uh, good hydrocarbons hiding under the seabed as well. So will our clients come to us to 
build structures on that and we, they extract those uh, hydrocarbons and process them. Uh, Sitara, now technology as we know has been an extreme, and I asked that question earlier, but you know, I think everyone has a perspective on this. It has been a uh, male dominated field. How, what are some of the challenges you feel that women face? The first and foremost thing that I would like to uh, highlight here is the uh, stereotyping and <laughs> gender bias. Yes. So, like, okay, women are not uh, that tech savvy. Right. Or women cannot do this, like, especially in a field like civil engineering or mechanical engineering. Yeah. Where physical endurance is uh, very important. Yeah. In se hoga. Like, maybe it is out of care yeah. that uh, they say that. but still it's like you're already uh, deciding without yeah. even giving a shot chance yeah. we are underrepresented in especially in uh, leadership in this, roles in yeah. uh, engineering in and technological fields uh, we are very much underrepresented so like it is improving yeah. at least over the past uh, few uh, decades there have been many women who have uh, fought through the struggles yeah. and have set examples for us so it is changing and in the next decade it will change, it will uh, further improve. I'm going to open this question to all of you. So what are some of the barriers that women are facing in, in your fields today? Opportunities don't come directly to you. Yeah. And this is where maybe women also need to step up and start asking for it. Yeah, like uh, Nonika, she said that you know you have to make your way. Yeah. It takes time to prove yourself. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, there was the only girl who used to uh, roam around site from uh, morning till night. And everyone used to be actually surprised. Uh, to see me walking around like I used to walk uh, uh, six to ten kilometers a day that is how I had to prove myself yeah, yeah, yeah. now I'm seeing a lot of girls uh, at at my site and I'm very proud we have to be in very difficult conditions yeah. very harsh climatic situations yeah. we work sometimes at you know armed forces uh, firing ranges right. and you know where it's actually even for men it's a very difficult situation to be yeah, in yeah, yeah. and here is a woman who's now leading a team yeah. of 15, 20 men and all of them are reporting to her. And, and are they taking you seriously? Once you've got the trust of this yeah, team yeah. of men. Like she said, once you've proved yourself once and you then proved they yourself. take you more seriously. How do you think the next 10 years are going to look for women in technology? Let me put it that way. I think it's definitely going to be better. Yeah. It is going to be better and in fact like we see now yeah. that there are more uh, women leaders coming up. So right. the mentorship issues, are they, they, those things are going to be taken care taken of. So care you have of. more women pulling you up. C companies are taking initiatives. We are uh, more uh, uh, m moving towards gender equality. equality it's yes. not 30 percent anymore, it's yes. 50 percent. Thank you so much ladies. It's been wonderful chatting with you and uh, so happy to have you know an all women chat here about technology and all of you doing uh, you know, in such different fields of technology, you're all uh, working and uh, so exciting to have a chat, chat with you today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. You.